and gentlemen, and welcome to Lane's Week in Anime. As you can see, I'm trying this without a face, not because I don't like being on camera. I, I actually don't, but I don't, I don't mind in the terms of what works with the algorithm. But because I want you guys to be able to see the chart when, when I'm talking, and as of right now, I don't have a green screen. I would need to figure out how it works, and I, I don't have the room for it. So... This is just going to be what it's going to be. Uh, and and this chart looks worse than the last one because the last one just kind of disappeared. I don't know where it went. So I had to make one on the fly, and I'm sorry about that. But in the green this week, Acro Trip, uh, Chroma decides to disband Magnifosa because he doesn't have, like, an evil lieutenant or something. I suspect I know who that's going to be in the future, but uh, to, to tell you the truth, it's really starting to irritate me that the character I came into this show for still has not shown up, and if he doesn't show up until, like, episode 10, I'm gonna be pissed off because he's in the poster, and he's still not here, so, like, what gives, guys? Uh, Chis Chisico decides that she's going to take over in his stead, and obviously it fails miserably, and he ends up having to rescue her, and it's really funny. Um, but that's that that's it for that's that's all for now. Dragon Ball Daima, they're formulating a plan to go after the Majin because they've taken Dende, who is evidently the name of the little one. Um, and it, it's basically them just standing around deciding what to do. And it's a lot of lore exposition dump that I already know. I already know who, the, who these Majins are. I already know their connection to the demon realm. I'm, I'm not saying it's not important for the characters, but I don't really feel like I need to go back into it because it's, it's kind of... I, I already know all of this. It is funny to watch Goku figure out that he can't fly well anymore because, like, he's a baby and his balance doesn't work. So watching him crash around is really amusing. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Oh, yeah. I also find it funny that despite being a child, Bulma still knows how all the parts of the machine work. I guess it's that they're not actually babies. They're, like, physically children, but inside they're adults, I guess. I guess that's that's the thing, and that's going to be a problem when they go to face is the villains, and the villains realize that they they are not actually as young or stupid as they think they are. Um, we didn't really get anything with the villains this week, and that's, that's disappointing, because I came into the show for Goma, and that's really sad. Uh, but, meanwhile, Al and our exorcists, they are sent to find Shura, who has gone to confront some people who she has a history with, um, and most of it is just the twins interacting, which I thought was really nice, because the twins, they interact a little bit in episodes, but they've never gotten, like, an actual dedicated episode to them interacting with each other, I don't think. Um, usually they're off doing their own thing, and I also like the fact that Mephisto acknowledges Yukio's training, and is like, look, I don't mind you doing this, but I'm not gonna have you hurting yourself, so be careful. I'm surprised he allows it because you think he would want to, wouldn't want to allow it because Yuki was a teacher, but I, I guess he doesn't actually care. Um, there's more about Rin and Shiami and the, their their loved thing, and I don't really care about that. I know it's gonna oh it's gonna take a long time to lead anywhere, so it doesn't really matter. Plus, I don't really think of the show as a romance, so. Uh, I, I, I just, I don't really care. Um, I don't think there's been a new episode of Mecha Uda yet. Um, I, I could be wrong. I haven't looked, but I don't think it, it's, it's basically the same where we left off. So I'm going to have to come back to that one. And I, I, and I didn't watch this episode of the Do Over Dams of Conquers the Dragon Empire because I'm still debating whether or not, um, I want to watch the show. It's in the green right now. Because I like the, con like I said, I like the concept, I like Jill, and I like the art, but I'm just on the fence about the age gap thing. It's kind of iffing me. Um, meanwhile, in the meh, which is going to become the bad, as in, you know, episode, and I still, I still don't, 
yeah. Um, Ray Zero is getting better, but the thing is, there's still a lot of dialogue and there's still a lot of fluff. Um, so we don't get to the actual part until uh, a, a much later in the episode, and that's really still really bugging me. Uh, basically, this episode is. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, I, I blanked there for a minute. Subaru tr- fi- trying to find a way to beat Sirius, and I like the fact that, you know, you know, he tries a million different things, none of them work, every time res- I'm results in just horrible things happening. At one point, he tries to have, uh, Reinhardt kill her, that doesn't work. At one point, even Amelia... Actually, no, that was last episode, but still, this is the setup. Um, Even Amelia tries to kill her. That doesn't work. And ultimately, Regulus is the one who comes in and uh, uh, basically beats her down at the expense of taking Amelia. Um, And we are are left in a very precarious state, because not only do you now have to deal with this uh, serious, you also have to deal with Regulus, and we meet Lai, who is another member of the cult. And I just realized something. There there are really only six uh, representations for the, the, uh, the, what's it called? The seven deadly sins in this cult. Um, we know, actually, I don't know which one is which, but I'm pretty sure Pride was left out. I forget which one was left out. Um... I forget which one was left out, but one of them was left out, and I find that really weird. Um, but also, we haven't met Pride yet, but I lo- took one look at Pride's picture and was like, I- I'm pretty sure I know who this is going to be voiced by, although we don't know yet because we haven't met him yet because he's a past character. Uh, anything else? Um, I'll become a villainous. I'm still trying with this show. But again, nothing interesting has happened. Like, now we've established uh, her as a real villain, in quotes. But other than that, this show is honestly really boring. And it's sad, because I wanted to like this show. Um, but but no, the show is just dull, and it's, it's, it's irritating me. But I don't think there's any more than that. So that that's it for this week, and I will see y'all next week. Um, I might have to do it again on Friday because, or no, next week I'm just going to wait till Monday. I, I decided not to wait till Monday this week, but next week I'm just going to wait because these are supposed to be coming out on Monday. And I thought stuff just got away from me, so I had to do it today. Hey guys, it's Lynn again, and in addendum, I actually did forget a couple shows. I forgot Hai Gakara, which still makes absolutely no sense. And I'm trying to figure out, but I, I can't wrap my head around. I like the art, but I, I just, I, I don't understand this show. Um, and I forgot Ari Ferretto, which I've been neglecting to watch because I keep uh, putting it off. But honestly, it's interesting. Um, so there's that. And in the future, I will try to add those shows to the lineup. Uh, I'm not going to go back and talk in detail about them this week, but next week... I will I will make an effort to remember them because they are part of the lineup. And starting next week, uh, I'm going to drop the meh category and just put everything I don't like in the bad.